I'm Rosa Mendez, and I'm here at the number one Long Island broadcast, Monty Ferro. I have the best time ever. Hey, listen, Daddy. You're listening to the number one broadcast, Monty and Ferro, Daddy, in Long Island. The best pro wrestling broadcast of all time, I think. Jimmy, I got to tell you, man, it feels good to be back on YouTube. It was uh, quite disappointing what happened to us, but we bounced back pretty fairly quickly. Well, what, what else would we do? We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. Well, speaking of that, man, yeah. we need more members. Okay. What do you think we need to do to get the people of those 5,000 subscribers to come on and, and join the team as a Monty and a Faro member? Nudity is out of the question. Any other ideas? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. But what I, I do have a few ideas. Well, just like Prell, they should tell two friends, and they can tell two friends, and so on and so on. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Check out all our content. But that's, you know what? That's why you're, you're the star of the show, because guess what? Members get special content. Even we spoke about it. Farrell came to me one day, and he goes, man, what's the deal? I can't even watch some of these videos because I'm not a member. And I said, there you go, Farrell. You got to be a member because this is what the members get. They get free content that nice. none of the other fans that watch this show get. That's right. You get free autographs from some of these wonderful stars that come in, right? Nice. All you do is you go to the MNP webpage, or, right, our own page, yeah. and shoot us an email and say, hey, man, I want a picture of... Tommy Rich, I want a picture of whatever. And boy, that's on its way. We give them their choice. That's right. We rock. We do rock. And you need to rock, too. Join. Ray from SummerSlam. Yeah, it's got part of the mat. Part of the mat, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Well, they do these old mats. That's, right. that's yeah. smart, right? Come in the cards. Okay. Uh, SummerSlam. What's SummerSlam? Is the one that broke his knee? That might have been SummerSlam 07, yeah. Is that before? No, he's all, he's trying to be a gorilla for a really long time. <laughs> so, yeah. Ray, if you're watching, you're still not a gorilla, bro. I know you keep trying to be a gorilla, and you're like, hey, and your, your son might be a gorilla. Oh! Dom, Dom may have gorilla blood in him. Oh, uh oh! oh. oh. <laughs> face, man. There you go. Shovel keeping everyone entertained. Ryan, <laughs> check that out. <laughs> Our man, Mick Whittle. Mick Whittle wants a little Lieutenant Loco love, love to, okay. to Andrew. To Andrew. In any color. Yeah, white pop. Steve says he's trying to figure out how you age better than our truth. Our truth does age. Yeah. Well, well, so he's he's putting you over. Yeah. 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 Big, big shout out to you. Thank you very much for that. Andrew, Lieutenant Loco. <laughs> then our truth. I love that. I'm gonna tell Big Ronnie next time I see him. <laughs> I even look better than you, son. Coming up, Bobby T. We're gonna get this done for you, you wacky man. Uh, in any color that pops, this won't be personalized, but he wants four-time WWE Cruiserweight Champ. Okay, any color. Any color that pops, so that's a paint pen. He okay. says something you can see from across the room. So maybe not white, actually. Because okay. he always goes something bright, as if he was colorblind, I guess. Okay. Uh, and what's, what's this one for? Four-time WWE Cruiserweight Champ. Four-time WWE Cruiserweight Champ. Okay, so. I did, Jen. Yep, we, we got your program earlier, actually. I got a couple of cards left for you. That we'll be getting through in the next 40 minutes or so. Missy wants to know, when was the last time you, you've been to North Carolina? To North Carolina? Well, yeah. It's been a minute. That has definitely been a minute. Um, probably maybe like an independent show. Probably three or four years ago. It's been a minute. But um, I do like North Carolina. We got to get travel to North Carolina. Flair country. They'll be calling it Guerrero Country when you're done with it. All right, all right, I think that, but it's, you know, we all know it's for <laughs> <laughs> Dakota, check that out. 
Four-time cruiserweight champ. Excuse me, um, the Bobby T. It's not Dakota. We had to have a question. Uh, what's a funny road story that you can share? That's a Brandon. A funny, funny road story that you can share. Yeah, you know, I've really said a lot of the ones that we can say on TV or TV on camera, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but funny road story. Um, hmm. and, you know, we were on the road so much, and we were the, the reason why. Um, you must have rim a lot is because we're on the road so often and we're always trying to just keep each other entertained. So I do remember playing golf and I, I, I think it was like in upstate New York one time and it was with me, Eddie, Brian Adams, Russell, uh, Brian Nobbs, the Nasty Boys, one or two other people. And they just punched the greens. So if anybody knows what golfing is, they, they kind of aerate the greens. They call it punching the greens. So there's a bunch of holes on the greens. So you're, you know, it sucks for playing golf. It, you know, two weeks later, it looks great because of the grass goes. But when they first do it, you know, it sucks to, to putt on that. But um, I remember Brian, Brian Adams, who was Crush, also part of Chronic. One of the funniest guys in wrestling. He didn't really seem like that. I've, heard, I've he heard that from a few of the boys, yeah. guys in wrestling. And one time, Brian Nobbs is putting on the punch green, and he goes, Hey, Brian, this reminds me exactly like your ass, because <laughs> they had all the dimples on there. That's hysterical. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, there you go. That's, your, that's the answer to your question. That's a funny real story, Brandon. That one I can tell. That, exactly. It's a funny real story that you can tell. Yeah. Tim, we got, we got your AEW flag. Of course. Thing, yeah, we can. We can. We, we, you know what? Let's do silver, silver over here. Yeah. Okay, great. And where do we want that? Up here? Yeah, I think maybe over here or over oh, here. Yeah. Check that out, Tim. And then, Mike, we're going to get your ECW flag right after that. All right. Tim, Chavo Guerrero Jr. Right there. Right on your right All right Elite Wrestling middle. flag that you got from us. AEW, son. And now, little ECW love. Oh, right, cool. Maybe, maybe somewhere right over there, Chavo. Well, this is for you, Mike. This is your ECW flag. There. All right. Check that out. ECW. There it is. Thank you, Mike. What's a funny ECW 2.0 memory you can share? You have the title there. You had the quick WrestleMania match with Kane, but they were building it up. You know, that, that was, people well, forget, that, uh, that probably uh, wasn't uh, supposed to be that no, quick. Well, this was it. We were, they were building that match. And what happens when we get to WrestleMania, they start, you know, a lot of, things, a lot of the contracts start coming through. So let's say they're trying to sign Snoop Dogg. Well, sometimes that won't come through until the day before, the day of sometimes. So they have to, times change all the time. They're constantly changing um, the, even though they may have the card set two weeks before or a month before, the day that it gets to WrestleMania, things change a lot. So we were, we had, a, me and Kane had a match on, 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 EC, on WrestleMania. We had a great run going. We, we, we had a really good chemistry in, in the ring. So then, about a week before, they sort of shuffled things around, and we weren't on WrestleMania. So me and Kane went to Vince McMahon and said, hey, Vince, we had a meeting with him in his office and said, if we're not on WrestleMania, then this championship doesn't mean anything. And Vince was like, you're right, you're right. Okay, you guys are definitely on. So the week before, we had, you know, like eight-minute matches, eight-minute match. When we got to WrestleMania, Vince called us in and goes, guys, I, I have to cut time. I'm cutting time all over the place. I even cut time from the from the main event and here shuffling times around. So he goes, you know, I can only give you guys two minutes. Well, I'm like, two minutes? What are we gonna do in two minutes? No one remembers a two minute match in, in at WrestleMania. Nobody. So we're like, well, what if we say we can do this in you know 10, 20 seconds? And he was like, what? 
what? You want? That's great. How can you do this? We kind of like, uh, you know, a collaboration between all three of us figured it out, and that's how it happened. So, came on the Invitational Battle Royal to face the ECW champion. So I didn't know who I was going to face until it was Kane. And then when I got I did my whole entrance and I'm watching for Kane. And I don't see him anywhere. He pops up behind me. Beats me in eight seconds. If it was that, I'm like, eight seconds, awesome. So um, I had my gripe say, we he cheated. I'm, he kept, I was coming down the ramp and what other match, what other sport could someone just appear? I'm not saying it's not jump somebody, but actually beat them for a title. Oh, this shouldn't be even, uh, uh, shouldn't even gone through. He cheated 100%. He didn't want to face me straight up because he knew, he knew I could have beat him. Vince loved it. We ended up doing it. And to this day, that eight seconds, that was the most I ever got paid for one match. It's true. Totally true. By the second. If you want to break it down, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I know. Well, that was the most I got paid for one match. It was, it was, it was a lot. And thank you, Jim Ross. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was for that. And if you break it down the second, it was, it was pretty lucrative. Substantial. <laughs> yes. Boom! Look at that. That looks beautiful. Ty, I know you're gonna like that. Uh, we can use that same blue paint pen, Chavo. So uh, the request is: this is the history of SmackDown book. Four-time oh, cruiserweight champ, you beating up on uh, on Ray. I still to this day, people come up to me and say I hated you for putting Ray out, like putting Ray out. So I was on a plane, the first season of Young Rock. We were filmed it in Australia because COVID had shut down in Hollywood, <clears throat> and I'm on a plane. I sit next to Brett Azar, who's Obviously, playing the Iron Sheik, he looks just like yeah, him. sure. He's got the, the mustache and stuff. So we're in first class. I sit there, I look at him, I say, "Hey, are you? Are you in New York?" And he's like, "He's like, yeah, yeah." Played Iron Sheik. Oh, great! So we start talking. I say, "Hey, I'm your Rosen He said, "Oh, great!" So we talk for about fifteen minutes, and then he goes, uh, "Did you used to be a wrestler?" And I said, "Yeah, I was a wrestler." He's like, uh, "What was your name?" I said, "Well, I wrestled with WWE. My name was Chavo Guerrero." And he went. Oh my God! He goes, I, I didn't recognize you. He goes, I hated you. I effing hated you is what he said. He said, I used to pray night before your death. Oh, you put Ray Mysterio out. He goes, I get it now. He goes, but I literally hated you. He's like, I didn't even recognize you. I didn't put two and two together. And he's like, what the heck? So that was a pretty cool story. Well, you know what? The, the I remember that that beat down and. In this, in that era, there weren't beatdowns like that. That was a bad beatdown where you really got a lot of sympathy on Ray because of how vicious it was. The yeah. Vicious stuff wasn't really done a lot. So, like one of my regrets, and Bruce Pritchard was right, um, I was hitting him with a chair, hanging him upside down, I was hitting him with a chair, and I was hitting him, and I was going to hit him again. He says, I quit, I quit, I quit, because he's a quitter. And I went to go hit him, and, and I was like, yeah, and I raised my hand. And Bruce said, right, he goes, you know what you should have done? You should have raised your hand, you should have turned back to him, and hit him again. And I said, ah, oh, you're right. But there was a, a lost opportunity. Ray may have it coming, though. You heard that, Ray? Watch out. There could be a chair. Uh, look, I got to tell you this. I just don't understand why... Ray Mysterio still has to look. We all love Eddie, but we're not going out with his gimmick and, and our gimmick. I mean, our gimmick it was Los Guerreros' gimmick, and coming out to Los Guerreros, we lie, we cheat, we steal, uh, and everybody's like, "Oh yeah, keep Eddie's memory alive." I said, "No, dude, you're you're you're." I'm tired of people. That's the truth. This is not a bitter thing. This is true. I'm tired. We worked hard for that last name. We worked. This whole family worked really, really hard to keep that name, to get that name to where it was. And we're tired of people um, <sighs> prostituting it, in a sense, and using it for their benefit. So, Ray Mysterio, I'm sorry that no one knows who Ray Mysterio Sr. is. Ray Mysterio <laughs> Jr., no one knows who he is. And I'm sorry that you have to latch on to the Guerrero family. And we're just kind of tired of it. So, 
Thank you for keeping Andrew Sands alive. Thank you for keeping the glory of him alive. But we don't need you. We're good. You know what I'm saying? With the way Chavo yeah. looks right now, WrestleMania next year, Chavo Ray, I, who do, who wouldn't want to see that one one more time? He, um, I don't think Ray could pull a camp to me right now, to be honest. <laughs> okay, cool. Anthony, check that out.